Hi there. Now for this question then, we had to find the equation of the regression line of y on x, giving it in the form y equals a plus bx. And those values for a and b had to be given to three significant figures. And you can see the answer is y equals 28.1 minus 2.14x. So as usual, I'll take you slowly through this question, although you might want to fast forward to skip the stages. Now you should be familiar with questions like this where we find B first and then A. B is found by doing SXY all divided by SXX. And to get A, A is just a rearrangement of this equation. We know that X bar, Y bar is always a point on this line, x bar being the mean of x, y bar being the mean of y. So a is going to be the mean of the y data minus b, which we'll have evaluated, times the mean of the x data. So we need to calculate b first, and we've got sxy, we need to calculate sxx. And you should be familiar with how we go about calculating sxx. It's this formula here, sigma x squared minus sigma x all squared over n. So it's just a question of substituting our values into that. And if you substitute your values in, you'll get sxx turning out to be 10.36. So we just need to substitute this value and sxy into here to get b. And if you do that, you'll end up with b equaling minus 2.1428 and so on. So that when this is rounded to three significant figures, it's just going to be minus 2.14 for b. And that's that part there. OK. Also, we now need to carry on and get a. So we need to work out the mean of y and the mean of x. Remember, the mean of y would be the total of the y values divided by n. And the mean of x will be the total of all the x values divided by n. So when you substitute those values in to this formula, this is what you should get. a turns out to be 28.071 and so on. And so when you round that to three significant figures, that's going to be 28.1. So y equals 28.1 minus, don't write plus minus, okay, where we've got plus bx here. Don't write plus minus, replace it with a negative, okay. So it's 28.1 minus 2.14x. And there's your regression line of y on x, okay, a very standard procedure.